The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Before you go, used to be in so it's Capaldi and Smallsy Surgery on Nova. Please welcome Lewis Capaldi! Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Can I say, last time I saw you, sir, you were hands deep eating a barbecue chicken out of a bag backstage at your Sydney show. Uh, on the good old days, as what I described them. And now... Yeah. Uh, you disappeared for two years. Uh, that was it. It was the barbecue chicken. <laughs> uh, I had just haven't been right since. My my bowels have just been kicking off at me. It's been strange. Um, yeah, that was it. That was it. I, I knew I shouldn't have ate it, mm-hmm. but um, here we are. In the moment, you knew you were making a bad decision, but you went ahead with it anyway, right? Exactly. Exactly that. But hey, well, that's, that's what life's all about. A series of bad decisions. That's exactly. Hey, yeah. uh, great to see you again, number one. Likewise. Uh, number two, as I said, you've dis- you disappeared for two years. Uh, the new song, we're going to talk about that in a second. But any journey of self-discovery, did you learn anything about yourself while you've been gone? Um, no, okay. I didn't learn anything about myself. Oh no, I got told I have, I got told I have Tourette's, <laughs> which is quite a, which was a, which was a, which was a, a find in itself. Yeah, I, um, I guess. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but on reflection, explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite a twitchy guy. I do a lot of twitching. I'm all over the shop. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, uh, I'm st- so that's the only thing I found out. I've got Tourette's, which is. Which is it? Which okay. is not, not emotionally. I haven't learned a lot from myself. <laughs> I haven't looked inward. Um, no. Okay. But, okay. Um, yeah, um, yeah. All right. Well, hey. Uh, now, follow-up question: How was the two years off? Uh, you disappeared. You told everybody that you were going away to find yourself or write music. Uh, was it meant to be two years? Did it accidentally end up being longer? It has been longer. It's been longer than I expected it to be. But it wasn't, the issue was when I was like, oh guys, I'm gonna take two years off. I was kind of like thinking, right, Ed Sheeran, he just went cold and like people had had enough. I was like, yeah. my face, people had seen too much of me. And then there was this pandemic and I was like, look, the world has suffered enough. I, I need to give them a break here. Mm. So I slipped away, yeah. I slipped away like a, like a sneaky fish. Mm. And then I was expecting, oh, do you know what? I'll be able to travel and do things because the pandemic won't last that long. And in the pandemic, it lasted ages. So I kind of spent most of my two years off in my parents' house because I still lived with my parents sure. during mm. lockdown, etc. So that was a bit of a pain. And then I didn't, re- I didn't really tr- do anything. Like that's like, I think when Ed did his whole like, guys, I'm going to take a break and everything's going to be, you'll see me soon, blah blah blah. <laughs> kind of like he did, he did the break. And I, I was still on my phone and looking at <laughs> things, and like still on TikTok and Twitter. I just didn't tweet anything. So it was like, that's like, not it really wasn't a, exactly, not, yeah, it wasn't a cleanse. Yeah, it wasn't really a break then, right? You just stopped posting, right? It must have, but it, yeah, must, yeah. it must have been fun at least to go, I don't have to worry about a post today. I can casually observe the TikToks without that, having to think about, now what TikTok will I make? Yeah, that's true. That is true. But then also the fact that um, as all of your, all of the fav- people's favorite singers and things are, I'm, every, us musicians tend to be attention seekers mm. for the most part. You don't so when say. You're on you don't TikTok say. And you're like, <laughs> so when you're on TikTok and you're like, whoa, that looks really fun. I wish I could do that. It's kind of, a, it's almost like a prison that I've put myself <laughs> in. I was shackled up by my own doing. Uh, and, it, um, and it was self-imposed prison too, right? Like you didn't have to yeah. do that, but you you know, I, yeah. I, I enjoy the commitment to I'm going away and you won't yeah, see so me. That's that. I've learned that I can endure a, a, a great, a great deal of psychological self-inflicted pain. And you know what? That's a great, that's a great lesson that one can learn. But it's so good to have you back. Yeah. And the song, new one, it's out. It is called "Forget Me." It is, it is a home run, Lewis Capaldi style. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say. Uh, I was a bit nervous in releasing this song. Uh, it's a bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a crazy departure, but it's definitely like upbeat. For sure, mm. which is one thing that's new, that's uncharted territory for for, for Temp- the sea man. Yeah, I call Temp- myself T- tempo with Capaldi in the yeah. name. I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So hopefully, hopefully people like it. And it's very hard to sing. I w- we've kind of been doing our first like couple of sessions with it recently, 
and it is an extremely hard song to sing so the live version I would not have anybody hold out hope for it sounding good live because right now it sounds like a car crash but uh, but we'll get there okay we'll get there. you know and that's right and, and life is about a journey and it's about getting to yeah. a point where the song sounds great live um hey can i yeah. say can i say and i i mean i'm I, you know as a, as an artist I, I guess you're already constantly full of self-doubt and i don't want to put any self-doubt into your future but the the, the debut album uh divinely uninspired to the hell extent what an incredible record that would have oh, surpassed you any of your wildest expectations hmm. are you nervous for the second one why are you doing this to me <laughs> why are you asking me these questions um yes i'm nervous for the next second one of yeah. course i am i think um i wish that the first one just had gone a little bit worse <laughs> do you know what i mean I wish yes. it had been just a little bit more of a car crash. Like, I yeah. wish it had just like there'd been a few blips in the road. I wish kind of like the expectation. But then again, I, this thing of like the, the expectations are high in terms of like my like I want to have it go well, and the label obviously want me to make them lots of money and have it go well. So I'm trying that. <laughs> I'm trying my best. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter if my album's successful. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, I have got a, I've got a mortgage to pay, so that's a bit of a nightmare. But um, other than that, uh, um, I mean, apart from the, um, the adulting that you're doing now, hey, whatever happens, yeah, yeah. happens. Exactly, exactly. But um, but yeah, no, I'm extremely nervous. I would be lying. I've had sleepless nights. I've been sweating. Um, I am just. I uh, my life is just as constant fear and and and, and uh, it's a loving hell but it's good to be back it's great to be it's great to have you on it's, it's great to have you back we've missed you uh because if i have to play someone you loved like again i just think it's like uh, i mean it'll kill me now like it's, it's time for some, yeah, yeah time for some fresh capaldi on the playlist you know yeah, that's it I've, I mean, I've got a fresh i've served up a slit a fresh slice for you mm. to enjoy um now tell me uh, the, the new song, which we are loving, uh, Forget Me, Give Me the 411, the, 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 tr who is she, or don't tell me who she is, just tell me about it, if you could. Uh, her name is Stephanie, and she lip, no, I'm joking, she <laughs> doesn't. Uh, 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 no, see, uh, I, I, yeah, the, 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 the song is a song about a breakup, of course, because that's what I do, um, and it's about, it's kind of a bit different in the sense that it's, it's a bit of like a, a bit of t toxicity uh, in the sense that I'm like, I'm like kind of, the song's kind of me talking about the fact that I don't want this person to move on and, and, and be happy without me. Do you know what I mean? Which that's is healthy. Like, no, that's healthy. I think that's totally yeah, healthy. Yeah, it's good. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, for sure. And um, it's like that thing of like, I'd rather this person was still like filled with hate for me and all the rest of it because it would be, It'd be, it'd be nice to know that in that way we're still connected in some some disgusting twisted way do you know what I mean like I think that's I think that I, I, my friends some of my friends have gone through it as well but like I think it, it was just one of those it was an interesting thing to write about I kind of I've kind of exacerbated it a bit for the purposes of um of course like a, like, a, like a like a like the true artist you are of course, yes, of course. Thank you, you know, you exaggerated yeah. the whole thing. It's nowhere near as toxic as what the song makes out. But if the truth, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. if the truth was in a song, it'd be a pretty boring song. It's much more exciting yeah. when we jazz it up a little bit, right? Exactly. It's basically like the news nowadays. If the truth was in it, it'd be, it'd be like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Misinformation's everywhere, maybe. But, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That was a nice topical joke from me there. That, yeah, I'm really, I'm really that was very good. I mean, no, was, he hasn't yeah. missed a beat. He's back. First interview in two years, and zing, zing, zing. Um, uh, in, 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 all, in all honesty, though, like over the last two years, uh, people still recognise you when you're going about doing your daily life, right? They're saying hello. They're asking you questions. Yeah. Yes. 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 Did you thankfully? Tell otherwise, 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 I would be. Ex Although, I was in. Um, I was in. I went shopping. There was a place in London called Westfield. Um, I went. There's a big, big shopping centre. Yeah, I Shepherd's think it was, Bush. I think Westfield, Shepherd's Bush. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know yourself. Come on. Yeah. Um, but I was in. I think it was Doc Martens. I was in, and this girl. I was buying. I was buying a pair of shoes. I think it was Doc Martens. I was buying, buying, buying a pair of shoes, and she asked me if I had a student discount, 
and it was a woman who was like, it was a girl about my age, my sort of demographic, sure and I was like, oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. And then the next, I was there with my pal as well, who was like the worst kind of guy because he was like, <laughs> like the smile on his face, like sheer joy brought to him. And then literally a week later, I was in Westfield again at Urban Outfitters which is one place mm. that I'm like, right. And if, I mean, you should, walk, you should walk in there and they should know who you are. Like your yeah, songs well, I, would I'm have like, been on the in-store radio for, for months. Exactly. They've, they've got the records and on, on the shelves, right? And I'm like, usually when we go there, I'm like to my friend, listen, we've got to get her out of here because, and I never go into Urban Outfitters because it's usually just, it's just too crazy. It's just autographs and photos for days. I can't yeah, even have exactly. a minute to yourself. Exactly. So I go in there and I'm browsing and I'm walking around and someone comes up and asks me, excuse me, do you work here? And I'm like, this is not my not job. No. This is not great. So I text my manager and I says, we need to release some music. This yeah. is off. This is bad. This is bad. It was, it, is bad. Was, it was at this point, the self-imposed exile was uh, wrong and we need to get back in the public eye yeah, ASAP. Like, we made a mistake. We made a mistake. <laughs> we, need to, we need to do this. Um, so, yeah. All right. My time is running out. Uh, you know Australia oh, loves God. you. Yes, I know. You know Australia loves you. Uh, uh, is anything in the diary for you to visit us here? We would love to see you. Uh, you are an incredible performer. Uh, you're still one of my favourite shows that I have seen. Uh, I'm just pissing in your pocket right now. So if you could piss back, that would be fantastic. So wait, you are the best ever. And you look great and you look radiant. You look radiant just now. And this radio show is my favourite radio show of all time. Thank you. Uh, are you coming to Australia? You, can you answer any questions like that? Oh, sorry. I, I was just passing. I, I was just piss, piss. we were just passing like each other yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> we were just giving each other a golden shower there. Um, so my um, my my plans as of professionally, I don't know when I'm coming to show you. I hope it's very soon because I, I love it there and it's one of my favorite places to play shows. I am coming down. I'm supposed to be coming down for like two weeks at New Year with my friends just to get on it and just enjoy yeah. what Australia has to offer. So I'll pop in. I'll pop, pop in. Yeah, pop hey. pop in. You can come to my place, watch the fireworks, and uh, you yeah. can make a tax deduction out of the trip. Just say you did a show, yeah. and then boom. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I love that. It's fantastic. Uh, new, song, love new song, Forget Me. Don't be a stranger mm. to us. It's great to have you back. Lewis, Thank always you, a Lewis. pleasure, sir. And uh, shall see you sooner rather than later. Yes, and I can't wait to piss in your pocket and piss all over you in real life. Come oh, on. Br- sign me up for it, <laughs> I think. Sign me up. Very good to see you, mate. Small Z Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.